Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Uh, basically giving me validations that you resonate with the videos that I'm putting out. You know, we're all connected in this crazy kind of way. And it's just like, it seems like we all can connect in ways that I never thought people could be able to connect like that and it's just good that we're all on the same page and you know we can help each other one help each other basically know that we're not going crazy <laughs> we're going through these situations for a reason so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit hit that notification bell like to keep on flashing by me uh, even hit the notification bell, drop me a line or two. Oh, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line to let me know, you know, get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback, it's content in my video, or <laughs> you just tell me about your impact to give. Now, impact, oh my gosh, impact your life. And towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is just giving good vibes or just good information you would love to share with a loved one or friend, or even a fellow empath that is going through some things that needs confirmation and validation towards you know their path, their journey, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Once again, thank you so much for the love and support. And I love you so much for y'all, for your bottom of your bottom of my heart. And thank you so much for the support, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. This light flashing is really distracting me. That's why I keep messing up, because it's like, okay, if I do this, the light flashes, but when I have it just constantly coming like through here, and I don't understand where it's going, because it's like my window's too high up to get any kind of reflection outside from like cars, because... My window's not even where a road is, so I'm not getting any reflections bouncing off of that. So it's just like all these lights just keep beaming off. But anyways, the video, uh, meditation video I'm using today is called Booster of Serotonin, Dopamine, Endorphin Release, Binary Beats, Happiness Frequency. And I will post that link in the description box below. I'm just wondering if it has something to do with the meditation music I'm using today. Because... My energy is all over the place, but it's in a good way. But uh, today my video is uh, about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's, are you a natural spiritual healer? Here's a sign. Here are signs to let you know if you are. Um, it's like like Lisa. Much love to you from uh, from an Aussie. Much love for you down under. Um, we were talking about that. You know, it, it's a scary thing when you can go through a spiritual awakening, especially if you don't know you are the way you are you know you might not know your empath I knew about me being gifted but I just never knew exactly what it was because it's just like when I was little I used to hug certain people and there would be certain ones I wouldn't go to it's like you know because I really feel like when you're children and you're gifted like that um, it's a lot stronger when you're a child because you're prone to everything but the signs that I'm here to tell you today have you look for you know in case it adds on to your repertoire about many things that you're uh, gifted with number one uh, you love nature um, you connect with everything outside, you know, um, you are prone to certain rocks, uh, certain animals. Animals gravitate towards you, that's number two. Um, when I'm outside, it, it's just like, I have a whole bunch of cats that stay out my house. You know, if you've been with me for a while, I took pictures of the cats I have outside. And there was a couple of them I helped heal while they were outside because it was just like, it was around the winter time. I think it was like last year. And it was going through really bad weather change. And some of them were getting really sick. And I felt so bad because it was just like, I, I didn't have enough money to be, you know, taking at least about five or six cats to the to the vet and stuff like that the mess is not cheap so I kept on sending them uh, to the animal shelter for them to go ahead and be treated and everything like that so um, but that's one of the things that you are that there's people like if anybody's around you like if you have roommates or whatever um, they you probably rarely get sick or they can't they they usually don't get sick around you it's like my children that really get sick as much but, you know, they got like little earaches and stuff like that. But it wasn't something really serious. But they all had asthma. 
growing up. So um, that's one that you know you you help you can be able to help people. I know there's a lot of people I've helped with, like when they had colds and stuff like that, I can be able to touch their pictures, like especially if they're not in the same state with me, because a lot of my friends that I connect with are a lot of them either on here or on Facebook, and they knew about my healing abilities, and I'm like, well, if you want me to be able to help you? I can go ahead and help you with that if you you know if I can. And it's just like I would touch their picture and say like a little prayer for them and call on you know the powers that be and be able to help them that way number two you know i go on nature walks you might go on nature walks and you love being out with nature you know being able to connect with everything i feel a lot better when i go outside even though i love being by myself i'm totally an introvert but when i go outside it's like i get that you know you already get that breath of fresh air but then it just seems like you get more answers your head is clear you know you're you know, with me, I try to always get a lot of content. Like, if you know, if I'm walking out, do I get visions and stuff like that? Um, if you're out in uh, nature, like during my neighborhood, I walk like every day or every other day. And the children, even the children that don't know me, they're always waving at me, I'm like hi, hi. And then, you know, I, I, you know, I try to be polite or you know, just smile at them because it's just like you know, so many people are out there taking people's kids and you know, they're looking at them that kind of way. And I'm just like, I never want nobody to ever be scared of me like that so I always wave and say hey you know and just keep going um that could be another one children that don't even know you are you know they're comfortable with waving at you and comfortable with talking to you um probably any of your friends or associates if they have animals they connect with you as well um I have a lot of those especially through the neighborhood it terrifies the mess out of me because I always have this long stick and they start calling me uh Noah's Ark I said why y'all do that I said oh it was, it was like Noah's Ark or I said I'll park the Red Sea with my stick because I got this big long stick they start laughing at me they said what you doing I said just keep my arms length because it's like I never hit an animal or whatever but if you show them that stick they keep going they don't never mess with me but you know they always gravitate towards me and I always want to go pet them especially if it's like a Rottweiler or a pit bull you know they already got little bad names as it is that they attack people so I'm not trying to get that close to them to see if they're gonna do that so you know I'm just like oh I really want to touch them but no and I know this the light flashes I apologize y'all it's like my energy is very crazy right now um what's another one uh you don't like being around large groups i get petrified when i get along long, a large group I, I hate it when even when my kids have like these things at school and i love to be like the active mom and everything like that but i get so anxious when i get a, around a, gr a group a big group of people um so you might be like that um when people try to invite you out you come up with excuses <laughs> or you're just so happy when things cancel like you don't have to go anywhere so if you have those incidences you are definitely a spiritual healer you can be someplace in not even a stranger will just come up and want to tell you their their life story um i've had that a lot you know especially like if there are people that you know are homeless or stuff like that i always try to help them out if i can you know um I, can, I know when it's like there's different between somebody soliciting me, um, like they're trying to get something for a fix or whatever. I don't mess with them. It's just like my pro, my, 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 my radar just go clean off. I'm like, oh, no, I can't help. But that'll happen with you. Um, what is it? The wet? Oh, the weather. When the weather changes, you already know about that situation before. Oh, my gosh, this light. When the weather changes... You're able to know about it before it comes. It's like with me, like yesterday, I live in Georgia, and it's like, it was raining and it was cold, and I didn't even go outside yet, and my body felt it. And I said, you know what, it must be cold outside, because it was like rainy, really rainy, and it was like, what made it so bad? I mean, our weather's like bipolar here. It's just like people, you never know what you're going to get. It, you know, the weather can be pissed off at everybody one day, and it'd be warm and, warm and cuddly the next day. So it was like really hot the last few days, you know, because anytime I want to go on my nature walk, I had to wait until late in the afternoon to go so it won't be so hot. The sun will go down or whatever, and I'll be cool and breezy. So I like to go. But yesterday, it was raining really bad. So it was just like, you know, people, you can heal people. Animals gravitate towards you. You know, you probably have animals yourself. Um, my, my cat, she's like very clingy. It's like my my. My boy cat, he's not really like that, because I guess he's just a boy that is just a boy's ways, but my girl cat, she really is clingy. 
So, um, boy, cat, children gravitate towards you. People talk to you about all their problems. You know more secrets about people than you ever want to know. It's just like half of the time I forget about stuff because I don't want it to ever come back out again. People have always trust me. It's just like I always constantly heard, you know, growing up, you're, you're a person that I can always talk to. They feel so comfortable with talking to me. I say I get that a lot. I don't know why, but I get that a lot. People always used to tell me that. And um, those are another thing. You know, you know a lot of secrets about people and you know, you're just that secret teller. I mean, not a secret teller, but, you know, a secret holder. I don't want to say that because I, you know, I talk to a lot of y'all on one-on-ones and it stays with me, you know. Um, so it just really feels good when I be able to help somebody and you like to cheer people up. That's another one. You like to cheer people up. Anytime that you see them sad, I'm like me. I'm like a goofball. They're like, Rosalyn, you always make me laugh. Or, you know, if I'm connected with you on Messenger, I always send like, goofy uh, goofy post like some of them I even use on my thumbnail at times just to have you laugh and when I said that it's 11 11 but yeah those are a couple of things you're a secret secret holder you like to cheer people up you try to heal people people gravitate towards you and want to tell you your life story you know you're the problem solver you know you don't like large groups uh, you tend to be by yourself and you love to be that way um, and it usually takes some time for you when you're, you know, you're an empath, you know, you get drained really quick as well. Even though helping people it is one of those things you like to do. But, and that can be like a bad thing for us because with us doing that, we always like to help the underdog. We do that. But it takes a lot of energy out. But those are a few things, the signs, to let you know you're a natural healer. So, um, my post notification, I'm going to go ahead and do, I already said Laura, uh, Gabriel, Gabriel, I'm sorry, um, Katie, straight, and Lost Puppy, much love to y'all, like and subscribe, even hit me a line, let me know, you know, are, are these some of the things that you feel like you're a natural spiritual healer, um, you know, let me know when you found out that you were these things, or if you already knew you were from a long time ago, just drop me a line and give me your total feedback, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line, I would love a chance to hear from you, and share the video, and matter of fact, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you on my next video, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days, and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can, and you know, kind words can go a really long way, you never know how somebody's day is going, so I love y'all from the bottom of my heart, much love to you, peace. And be wild.